this one real quick. And what I wanted you guys to remember is what we talked about with the Pythagorean theorem, what we have previously done. And remember, we need to apply the Pythagorean theorem, or we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, sorry, is when we have a right triangle. And remember, to determine a right triangle is when we have a right angle, an angle that's going to create 90 degrees. And when we have that right an angle, all right, we're able to determine characteristics of the triangle. The first two is what we call the legs, A and B. Notice how A and B create your right triangle. And then C, what we call our hypotenuse, is directly across from our right angle. So you guys can see on your worksheet, you have triangles that are mixed around as all different directions and so forth, right? But what's important about this is we can, since we have our right angle, is we can determine what's going to be the legs and what's going to be the hypotenuse. So if you guys remember the Pythagorean theorem stated, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, what I want to do is determine, well, what is my a and my b? And you can see that these two sides are what create the 90 degree angle. All right? So I can say 6.3 squared plus x squared equals 15.4 squared. Does everybody see that? Now, before I even evaluate this, I can subtract the 6.3 squared. So therefore, I have x squared equals 15.4 squared minus 6.3 squared. So then, simply what I'm going to do is just take 6.3, square it. No. OK, and then do 15.4 squared minus second answer. And I get 197.47. So x squared equals 197.47. Then to solve for this, I'll now take the square root on both sides. So I just take this and I take my square root function. I say square root of my last answer. And I get 14.05. Or I'll reduce that to 14.1 miles, since we're talking about triangle in miles. Nailed it.